Extreme routines are very popular in the health, fitness, and biohacking world. And while they can be a great source of inspiration, they're unrealistic for most of us with the constraints that come with a normal life, like limited time, attention, and money. And, you know, even if we wanted to, most of us just can't practically run a marathon every day before work or do the perfect sauna and cold dunk routine or weekly IV drips of hard to pronounce longevity compounds or the perfect supplement routine. If you can do those things, that's awesome. Go for it and enjoy. But these things just aren't practical for everyone and they aren't necessary for good health. And while some of these extreme routines certainly are inspiring and there is definitely utility in that, the truth is that the threshold required to be very healthy and very fit isn't extreme at all. It's within the capability of the average person facing those average constraints of limited time, attention, and money. Yes, it takes practice, and yes, you have to work hard and be consistent, but the effort and complexity isn't even close to what is trending in the popular culture, which really seems to be a constantly escalating standard more focused on outdoing itself than giving us practical advice. And the truth is, you don't need a million different protocols to be healthy, and you don't need superhuman discipline to be fit. You just need to establish some good habits around a few important things, the most important things, the things that have always been the most important, good food, daily exercise, spending some time with your family and friends, getting outdoors, getting some fresh air and some sun, having fun, laughing, having a purpose, whatever expression that might take for you, the everyday seemingly humble parts of our lives, the power of which cannot be bottled or replicated, and another one of those cosmic paradoxes that is worth paying attention to. It's the little things that have the greatest impact. Those are the things that are at the absolute core of good health and fitness. It's not in blue light blocking glasses and IV drips. Not that those things don't work, but if you're trying to be healthy, but you're mostly sedentary and your diet is mostly processed food and most of your weakened calories come from alcohol, you aren't in the need of biohacking or a professional athlete's fitness program. You just need to be consistent with the basics. Don't let complicated biohacking protocols or extreme fitness routines convince you that good health and fitness are unattainable for you. Those things certainly have their place, but they're not a substitute for the little simple things that make the biggest difference. But if you feel like you're struggling to get those basics in place, you build them with the same universal principles that you build anything else. Start small with what you can sustain, no matter how seemingly insignificant that is, and then slowly build from there, always keeping the bigger picture in mind, which is to build something that is meant to last and something that will support your life and add enjoyment to it, not consume it. Do that and you're probably going to be just fine. I hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.